hey guys welcome back and welcome if you're new super excited I'm going to be showing you how I made this welcome sign for my porch and this was such a fun DIY so guys first I ordered these unfinished letters from Amazon they are the perfect size for the boards I was using and I painted them out in a white it's really nice contrast for the look that I'm going for and I can leave the link for these letters in the description bar below if you're interested and while those are drying I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other portion of the sign so we got these pressure treated dog ear fence pickets from Lowe's guys they were only two dollars and eighteen cents you could even get the cedar ones for like a buck more what a steal guys <laughs> so my hubby is helping out he's going ahead and sanding them down on both sides he is definitely such a great help for my DIY sometimes and I'm using a stain now I love this one it has the polyurethane and the stain in one step which means I don't have to go back and put an extra protective coating on it and it comes in all shades so guys great tip now if you want to paint it that's great but remember you would have to go back and coat that also this is the best I've seen as far as the way the stain takes and guys this was only four dollars and 98 cents for the quart awesome awesome steal So as you can see, I'm not even using um, a brush or a roller. I'm just taking an old cloth and just rubbing it in. Um, just rubbing it into the grain. It's so easy. It's so convenient. One tip would be to definitely do this outside, which is what I did. I took some thick um, builder grade construction paper, put it down and to protect my patio. It's sunny outside, so it's drying really quickly, but it does have a smell, so I would definitely recommend doing it outside. Now, this is a scrap piece of wood from a molding from our house that was built. My husband just cut it in pieces to fit. I'm adding wood glue, and I'm just applying it to the back of the sign. I'm doing it to the top and to the bottom, very simple and easy. This is all I'm using, guys, to adhere it together for the sign. No wood glue or nails or staples that's it I let it cure overnight and now it's the next day and I'm ready to assemble all of the items for my sign so as you can see I'm using a tape measure those little white marks are chalk marks just to, so I can verify that I'm putting them or spacing them out correctly to give it a nice look aesthetic for when the sign is complete and that's basically it and I can go back and just rub off the chalk later and I'm applying my wood glue to my letters guys this is as easy as it gets for this DIY now the tip I would say about applying the wood glue to the letters is too much is too much you just want to do just enough to adhere it and because if you press it down and you have a lot or an excess of the wood glue then guess what guys it'll seep out and you'll have to take it off and that would be a mess so yeah <laughs> And it's really this simple I'm just going to continue this all the way down with all of my letters because they're very thin they don't need to cure overnight these will be cured in about two hours and you'll be able to put your sign on your porch now I'm just checking to make sure that all of my letters are straight and I'm ready to embellish it and I will be all done. So for the bottom, I'm using some really thick jute string. I think it looks really pretty and it's the aesthetic that I'm going for. I want it to be inviting and for the top, I'm using some leftover burlap ribbon with a gingham print on the edge, which is the same ribbon I used for a previous DIY reef that I have on my door so now they will look sort of cohesive I love cohesive styling not too matchy matchy but sort of in the same family and that's what I was going for the only other thing is I put on some nail head tacks from a previous DIY and I think it looks absolutely amazing and it looks great on my front porch 
I also love the way the white plays off the black and the white for my home. And this is the wreath that I was talking about. Do you see how the ribbon is the same ribbon for this DIY wreath? By the way, I can use, put the link for that wreath in the description bar below. But I love the way it looks with those thick corbels on the front of my home. And I absolutely love the way this DIY turned out. So guys, comment below um, what you think about this DIY. And if you're going to try it, I absolutely had so much fun. It was super easy and super budget friendly. So guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're going to subscribe, which I hope you do, hit the bell twice so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to be having some more videos coming up for French porch styling and also my garden and other upgrades in my new home. So I hope to see you there and thank you all for watching.